Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another edition of the Cards of Diecast 4 channel. I want to thank you all for watching. And in this video, we're going to be uh, doing a response video, an RE video, in response to a question that a Facebook follower of mine uh, uh, asked me over Facebook, and that is concerning how do I know or how can I figure out if a card that I'm looking for has already been pulled, sold, available, not available? How do you know? How, do, how can you figure out ways to, to get that done? And so the real answer is that you never know. Unless you physically own the card, you don't know where it's at. You don't know if it's still in the box or if it's been owned, if it's been damaged, destroyed, whatever it may be. It's uh, really up in the air because you're just one person amongst all six million of us or billion of us here on the planet. Or seven billion now, I think is where it's at. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tell you guys what I like to do in order to figure out if a car that I want has already been pulled. So let's go ahead and go to eBay. And in this uh, question, she was requesting information on a Chase Elliott one of one signatures, driver signatures card. So let's go ahead and type in Chase Elliott Prism Racing. Now, when you click that, just right off the bat, it's going to show you all the cards that are available currently for sale with Chase Elliott and Prism Racing. But she wants to know if anything has been sold in the past or is currently available. Well, if you don't see it available there, what you can go ahead and do, as I did right there, did you notice when I did? Right next to the search button, there's a little button that says, uh, or a little icon that says Advanced. You want to click on Advanced. Make sure that Chase Elliott Prism Racing is in the search uh, search bar right here. And then you want to click down or search down to uh, search including and you want to check box uh, check that box next to sold listings and when you do that you want to click on search and now all the numbers turn up in orange instead of black that means these are the cards that have been sold in by ebay or through ebay in the last uh, 90 days i think it is but the thing is though you want to go ahead and organize them and you want to sort them by highest first price and shipping highest first because a, a checkered flag one of one for chase Elliott is probably going to sell probably in the 200s i bet and as you can see here we have no chase elliot one of one and as you can see the most valuable card uh, has been sold with the best offer of 169.99 that was back in december now one thing i will tell you guys if you want to figure out if you see a car that has been sold for the best offer accepted it's only going to have the price that was started as the asking price and it's going to have this line right through it as you see right here the way to try to get an idea as to how much that card sold for you notice down here this number here this 10250 you see how there's no line through it because there was 15 bids that was the actual final bid for that card that means this card up here was for at least 102 and 51 102 51 or higher that's how you could tell in fact let's go ahead and go to the bottom here here uh, it looks like the 23 of 24 was sold twice in the last three months it was sold for 10250 back in december and then at the beginning of february it was sold again but this time the best price was accepted at 125 but uh, of course that wasn't the the, the number that it was uh, accepted for so you see that there's a slash right here, best offer accepted. The card under that, which was also a camo autograph for 24, 124.99, best offer accepted. But then look at this. We do have a one of one Chase Elliott, but it is not the autograph. It is the pit road card, number 49. So that card though, however, had one solid bid of 85 bucks. So that means if you guys are keeping up, uh, that means that these two cards here, you see how that's 85 and that's 102. That means these two cards here were sold between 102, 50 to 85 and a penny. That's where these two cards were sold for. That's the range that those two cards were, uh, their best offer was accepted for. Uh, likewise, let's go ahead and go down here. 85 bucks is the bench point right here or the benchmark. Uh, best offer accepted for the rainbow best offer accepted for the red prism blue prism the best offer was accepted and the green prism also best offer accepted but then we look at the next solid number at 6450 that means these four cards here the best offer that was accepted was between 84.99 or 85 dollars rather uh, because it could have been 85 dollars as well 85 dollars and 64 dollars and 50 
sends. So that is the range that those four cards were their best offer was accepted. It's not going to tell you the specific number, but it is going to tell you a, a range, if you will. Uh, but nonetheless, though, we see no Chase Elliott, checkered flag, one of one. So what do I do next? So it hasn't been sold on eBay in the last 90 days. So let's go ahead and go to PSACard.com. P-S-A-C-A-R-D.com. And what we're going to start doing now is that we're going to go look through PSA. We're going to also go to Beckett.com. And we're also going to go to SGCCard.com. Those are three big card grading companies in America right now. And so we're going to take a look at all their population reports to see if the Chase Elliott one of one has been graded. So let's go ahead. You're at PSACard.com. Go click on Pop Report. You do not need to sign up for any sort of membership or account or anything else in order to see this for PSA. Now, what pisses me off about PSA is that they used to have a category for racing cards alone. But racing cards has now been moved to the miscellaneous cards, which is probably the big slap in the face to racing. Considering that racing cards were about to total $30,000 or 30,000 cards total graded. But now that's in the miscellaneous card section. Out of those 40,500 cards as of today, 30,000 of those are NASCAR cars, which is insulted, which means it should, have, it should have its own category, but it doesn't. So anyway, let's go ahead and go down. We're going to go down to the year 2016. You're going to see some leaf metal tennis cards and whatnot, but then here we go with the NASCAR stuff. So let's go down to driver signatures, which is where the Chase Elliott one of one card that she's looking for would be located. And so let's go down here as we see all the various cards that have been graded by PSA uh, that are of the driver signatures 2016 Panini Prism. And here we have two Chase LA cards that have been pulled. A rainbow has been sent in, a red flag has been sent in, but we do not see a checkered flag for Chase Elliott. As we scroll down, we see nothing. So PSA does not have uh, in their data bank, their pop report, the one of one for Chase Elliott. Now let's go ahead and go to Beckett.com. And with Beckett, however, you do need to go ahead and sign up for an account. You do not have to pay for anything, but you do have to sign up for an account in order to view their pop report. So let me go ahead and sign in real quick with an old account and then we will go back to how to find the population report for Beckett. All right, now that we are back with uh, the Beckett website, uh, let's go ahead and, and go to where it says grading over here. Just hover your mouse over it and then it should give you all these options here. And we're gonna click on population report. And then we, when we go to population report, we're gonna click on select sport. We're gonna click racing. Prism name or, or set name is gonna be prism. And then player name is going to be Chase Elliott. And then when you do that, uh, let's go ahead and scroll down here. And as we zoom in just a little bit more, we will see that there is no checkered flag for Chase Elliott. No checkered flag for Chase Elliott. So Chase Elliott has not been pulled for the uh, Beckett system. However, if you want just to figure out all the cards for NASCAR with the prism line, you would just leave it at, as prism and then don't put anybody down for the, for the player name. And let's go ahead and go down here. And there you see all the various cards for prism. And as we go through here, we see uh, a little section here that does have the prisms, but this is for the prism cards. And so let's go ahead and click on that, though, nonetheless. And when you do that, go ahead and click on Open in a New Link if you're using Firefox or if you're using another web browser. You want to click on Open in New Link because when you try to click on Back, it's going to send you to a, a 404 message. So we go ahead and click on uh, Open in a New Tab. And as you can see here, the two cards that they have graded that are checkered flags for the parallels is the Danica Patrick car card and the profile card for Ryan Blaney. And then let's see here, uh, checkered flag uh, for a winner circle prism. There's one card. Let's go ahead and click in a, a new tab or open in a new tab. And I believe it's Carl Edwards, and it is, and it got a, a pristine 10 from Beckett. So let's just see here. Anything else with a checkered flag? We do not see anything else with a checkered flag. So Beckett has not opened. 
So Beckett has not uh, graded a uh, Chase Elliott one of one. Finally, let's go to uh, resources here with the sgccard.com and let's go to resources and population report. And then we're gonna go to select sport, racing, set name, prism. We're gonna click on search. 2016 Panini Prism. And uh, what we have here, we do not even have any sort of Chase Elliott card to begin with. So SGC does not have a one of one for Chase Elliott or any Chase Elliott card for that matter. Finally, what you may want to do is just go back on Facebook. And just in that little search bar there, you go ahead and just click on uh, uh, Prism Racing. And what I did when I went down, I, I went through a bunch of my searches uh, for a lot of stuff that I've posted. But then, of course, I went through this one page here. And so let's say, for example, you've been looking for Dale Jr., white flag uh, penmanship well one has already been pulled so you know one of the five have been pulled and then if you're somebody who's been looking for the mark martin patent and penmanship one of one well it has already been pulled as well this is the one of one for the penmanship for mark martin so the last thing of course to do is uh for what i do is just go on facebook or not facebook but youtube and just you know type down a uh, prism racing and just do some viewing uh, I've been sometimes I will watch these videos, uh, particularly Prism Racing, and let's put down break. And you're going to watch a bunch, and there you're going to have access to a lot of breaks that have been done by uh, uh, that have been posted to YouTube. And I know for one fact, I want to see if I can't even find it for you all, so maybe we could. I don't know if it'll record video, but like right there, there's a uh, Danica Patrick rainbow that has been pulled. Uh, there's my uh, Donruss Racing 2 box unboxing. Glad to see that in the search results. And uh, yeah, just keep watching some of these videos. Sometimes every now and then you actually find out a, uh, a big hit uh, has been pulled already through just watching some of these breaks. Uh, but I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I want to show one video. It's of this guy who pulled the Danica Patrick number 10 checkered flag portrait card. But, uh, you know, obviously there's a million of these break videos here, so I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to. Danica, let's just put down Danica. Uh, doesn't look like I find it, guys, but uh, you get you guys get the picture, though. Just go through these videos sometimes every now and then, and, and sometimes you might be able to uh, uh, read the comments and be able to say, hey, you know, boom, there you go. It's, it's Somebody said, great Danica pull or something, or great Chase pull or something like that. And you could try to search through the video to see if you can't find uh, the point where that Danica card or, or Chase Elliott card or whatever card that you're trying to find has been pulled. But uh, beyond that, though, uh, that's about all I could tell you guys as to the tips that I like to show off to figure out if a car that I've been looking for has already been pulled. So I hope you guys found this video uh, useful. This has been the Cards of Diecast 4 channel. I want to thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. Click the, click the uh, subscribe button in the description. It'll take you to a prompt to ask you if you want to subscribe. Just click on yes, and that's all you got to do, guys. Uh, once again, Cards of Diecast 4 channel, and I will see you guys later. As soon as I left you all, this is uh, this is what I found. Uh, this is the actual video, as you can see here, the one of one uh, checkered flag for the portrait card of Danica Patrick was pulled. One of one, Danica Patrick. And there you go, right there. Uh, but one thing, listen to this guy here real quick. Congrats, sir. Yeah, congrats. I'm sure he is a, a good guy and everything else. Not trying to bash the guy too much, but don't spit and break. That's the one thing I also noticed about this because you got a gem mint or not gem mint, but at least uh, possibly gem mint. But you do have one of the best hits you could possibly pull from the prism line. And, and two feet away from you, you're spitting dip into a cup. So uh, that's another thing you need to watch out for. Sometimes the way people handle the, these cards here are pretty uh, funky to say the least. But anyway. Uh, this is the Cards of Diecast 4 channel. Once again, please subscribe. Click on the subscribe link in the description below, and I will see you all later again.